scores a goal. Can you believe it? It's extraordinary. It's as open a season as we've ever seen it. And probably according to the, the pundits, you know, three of, three of the four games have been won by the underdog in a sense. So uh, we're pleased that we're one of those. You know, we, uh, we worked hard over the summer as well. And, um, yeah, we got, had a really good spread of contributors across the four quarters today. <laughs> On Monday night, Pro 7 goals only at home in front of 50,000. The Hawks, they've got a few to come back in. Big, big start to their year. 32-point winners. They certainly were. No one gave them a chance going over to the Adelaide Oval, except maybe Alistair Clarkson and Jeff Kennett. No Tom Mitchell, we know that. No worries. Jager O'Meara picked up the slack, got them away. And that's what you want to do, silence the crowd early. This man, the Warpedo, he was on fire. He was everywhere. Probably got the Brownlow votes yesterday. Nice snap on the left. Five minutes to go in the first quarter. The Crows got their first goal to Matt Crouch. He had it 40 times. He was tremendous. But after that, it was a bit of a seesawing affair. Uh, Isaac Smith running into it. Little Joe the Goose there. I think it was Luke Bruce uh, after a Liam Shields goal. He kicked the goal with about 30 seconds to go before half time, which gave Hawthorne the momentum leading into the third term. From there, they blew Adelaide out of the water. 32 points at three quarter time. And then Eddie Betts tried to lift them. They kicked five behinds in the last quarter. No goals, the Adelaide Crows, which would have given them an opportunity. They had a bit of a sniff, but unfortunately for the Crows, a bad start at home. The three things I learnt was that Clarko's class gets another A+. He is an absolute genius. He did it again, just stopped their run from the Adelaide Crows. The second thing, the Crows' cough-ups were really costly. They had plus 72 in disposals, plus 9 in contested possession, but they couldn't get the job done. And three, warp speed. James Warple stepped into Sam Mitchell's jumper and into Tom Mitchell's boots. As I mentioned, he nice. was just about the best nice. player on the ground yesterday, Hamish. So they've added some spark leverage. They've got Tom Scully and Chad Wingard to come back in. It's a lineup that looks pretty aggressive. Yeah, it looks really good. I, I, I must admit, I was one who thought they may go backwards a touch, but as I said, you can never discount the genius of Alastair Clarkson and, and Warple steps into Tom Mitchell's shoes. O'Meara, who had some serious question marks when he came to the club, looks like he's getting back to his best football. I was about to say, so I was watching, uh, unfortunately, I was watching Melbourne Port Adelaide. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am interested in Jagger. Because uh, he's probably the next man to go into Tom Mitchell's uh, spot. Yep. Um, injury plague sort of last couple of years. Back to his best, yes, sir. Yeah, he was. I think he's lost that dynamic speed that he had in his first couple of years at the Gold Coast Suns. But his ball winning ability is back. Um, it, it looks like he will take over as their number one midfielder now. Don Pike, uh, seven thirteen, so inaccurate, and said the Crows didn't take their opportunities. A lot of the numbers point our way. Our contested stuff was pretty solid. Um, but our, our ability to convert uh, some of our turnovers into scores just wasn't at the level. We had 30-odd you know, four-and-a-half turnovers and converted into five points. Well, that just doesn't give you a chance to hit the scoreboard. So when our opportunities came, we didn't take them, um, as compared to Hawthorne, who did. Now, we'll look at that. And, um, but, you know, again, it's, it's one game, so there's not a trend there at this point. It was just a, just a disappointing, frustrating day. We hope it's not a trend, but as I mentioned, some of these numbers, seven, plus 72 in disposals, plus 9 in clearances, 18 in contested possession, they also got 9 turnovers. But the way that they move the footy, and I don't know how much we should credit Alastair Clarkson on the work that they've done for them during the week, but we know that when the Crows are up and going, that run and gun, particularly off half-back, they're one of the best teams in the comp to watch. But there was really no plan B yesterday when Hawthorne shut that down. They've turned it into a scrap, they turned it into a physical game and Adelaide really had no answers from there. So hopefully for Don Pike and the Adelaide Crows it's not a trend but they need to have another plan if their run and gun game, particularly off half-back, isn't working.